Welcome everybody to the Daily Presidential Address. I am Lawrence Presman. I've got a play for you on, I have two plays for you on the Rams and Chicago. Before we get into that, I want to point out that I have a big card for Sunday. Uh, My NFL clients will receive my entire week four report. That'll include at least five client bets plus thoughts on every single game on the board and my Circa picks as well. Uh, It's $29. You can get that for $19 by using the promo code GAMEDAY10. That's Game Day 10. A lot of you guys have already used that code. So much love. It's so appreciative that you have uh, put your trust in me. Okay, let's get into this. The Rams against Chicago. Uh, Well, first off, I like the under here, guys. I like the under again. 41 points in a game the Bears are playing in. Uh, Do they think the Bears are going to finally score a whole lot of points? I don't understand this line. Take the 24 points out against Tennessee. Why? Because they were all scored by defense and special teams. And this Bears team has put up a very little amount of scoring. But they are playing a uh, L.A. Rams team that I'm not that impressed with their defense. Uh, Mediocre at best. And I do think the Bears will finally get some points. With all that said, I think this might be the week that the Bears actually win a game. Now, I'm not going to take the minus three here. I'm going to look to take them on the money line. Uh, I put them in as a free pick last night. It was minus 142. So I like the under, and I like the Bears on the money line. Let's bottom line this game. The Bears have an incredible defense, like legitimately an amazing defense, and they really should hold this Rams team to under 17 points. This Rams team is horribly injured up and down the field. And yes, they had a massive game against San Fran last week. It was more like a massive final three minutes, but they looked good last week. I don't think they're going to be able to continue that momentum, especially with all their injuries. Uh, This Rams defense is not that great, and the Bears last week finally started to move the ball. Now, I understand they didn't put up a whole lot, and they stink in the red zone, but they did get 26 first downs, which is very impressive. And they put up 332 yards in the air. I think the Chicago team is good for somewhere between 17 and 24 points on Sunday. The Rams, second worst D in points allowed this season. Uh, They've allowed 11 points less than Chicago on average this season. But why do I like the under? Because regardless of the Rams having the second worst D, Chicago's not a team that is going to be able to to, uh, convert in the red zone. So it's why I like the under, and it's why I like Chicago at the same time. I also want to point out that this is really a horrible spot for the Rams. They started the season with a playoff revenge game against the Lions, which they looked good in. Uh, Then they had two back-to-back division games. Now they're flying east. They're playing on a crappy grass field, and they should uh, be slowed down. Can the Bears start the season two and two? Why, yes, I think they can. And when they do, I will go out, buy some lasagna, put it on a pizza, and enjoy what I consider to be Chicago deep dish crap. Anyway, that's it. The Bears on the money line and the under 41. Guys, use that promo code GAMEDAY10. Get $10 off of my Sunday package. Lots of love, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.